All right, I hope you guys enjoy some of the videos I put out there. I have a really hard time recording stuff. A lot of times I just end up finishing the product and then it goes from like I begin it and then I finish it and it's done. So it's hard to record along the way. Um, but I hope you get you can enjoy them and learn some stuff. Maybe I'll try to start teaching some of the, the boring stuff here on YouTube. But in this video here where this cart does a wheelie right here, I'll show it to you real quick. So this is the battery that just made that cart do a wheelie. Uh, I've since taken it out and we just put in a bigger capacity. So this is about a half a kilowatt hour. And you can see it's 16 pounds. These cells are absolutely insane. How much power they can push out of them. Uh, they can discharge themselves very fast. Um, they're basically like a tabless cell. So that you can you can build something that can push out a lot of power but doesn't have a lot of capacity. So <clears throat> that's kind of why I like using these because you can end up building smaller batteries and you don't need to build like a 5 kilowatt hour battery just to be able to get the amp output from the battery. And so that's ultimately why I like using these cells. And this is the one, this is it, that was in that bat that cart that made it do a wheelie. We have since put in one of these. So those are 36 volt. And what they've done, <clears throat> I actually just bought these off of batteryhookup.com and they were already pre-built, which I really liked. I just didn't like paying the shipping to get them here to California from Pennsylvania. But these these are, this is basically three times that. So that's 20 cells. This is 60 cells. So one of these is 60. So 20, 40, 60 cells. And instead of a, a 20 cell configuration, um, <clears throat> three 20 cell configurations, this is just six. Uh, 10 cell configuration so you can that's what that battery is and that's what I got in that cart now it's slower a little more boring but um, super easy to put that battery in so that I just wanted to show you that how small and powerful one of these batteries can be so if we put that in a uh, if we did the same thing with a, a 36 volt build and just did 10 batteries and in, in series instead of um, 20 then we would have a 36 volt battery and it would still be just as capable it would get up to the speed that 36 volts would go on that on that motor which it, it's around 15 mile an hour max probably so it would get up to 15 mile an hour fast and this battery would be able to do it so you could imagine I could build a battery and put it in that cart and it would be that big you know and I'd be able to drive around three to five miles or so probably not three to five miles uh, probably more like one to two with this and then um, and when we do 72 volt we just had a 1p a one in parallel uh, there's no parallel because it's just 1p <clears throat> 70 volt pack it would get up to the 28 mile an hour and and these cells can do it just because of how much power they can push out so you you start getting into batteries like this right the cells that are in those, I got a bunch of them. Just scrap one of them here, it came out of them. So you get into these batteries, the difference between these and this, these are uh, technically a little lighter, right? So once you build a big battery, if I build a five kilowatt hour, or sorry, 500 watt hour, or half a kilowatt hour battery, same capacity, if I did that with these cells, these, these would end up being a little lighter than these in terms of capacity. But these are limited in how many amps you can draw out of one of these. I think these are maybe like, you might be a little more, um, these Samsung cells, these specific ones, maybe you could draw 10, amp, 10 amps out of them at most. So 3.7 times 10. So that's, that's, so to get up to, let's say 100 amps, I would need to parallel just 10 of these to just get 100 amps. 
these cells alone, just one. One of these can push out 400 amps uh, for a peak period of time and 200 continuous. So I would need 20, let's just say about 20 of these in parallel just to be able to push out the same amount of amps. And the reasoning is the these uh, type of batteries have a lot more resistance to them. So drawing out of them heats them up and inevitably destroys them because there's just so much resistance. The resistance in these is a huge long coil and then there's a tab on one on, on the far end of one of them coils and then the tab on the far end of the other. So there's just a lot of material and resistance in here created when you draw power out of them. These are different because the resistance isn't, <clears throat> um, you know, a hundred feet or so of material it has to go through. It's literally just from here to here. This is the resistance in this battery. Very, very low resistance. So I can draw a lot more out of this, this battery. And that's, that's the difference between these batteries. And then when you parallel these, you begin to get into just insane amounts of amperage you can draw out of them. So 200 amps continuous on one of these. <clears throat> so you parallel six of those, which is what that battery is. And then you, of course, series, series 10 together. So six of these in parallel be two, four, six. This should be easy math. Six, six times two is 12, 1200 amps is what you can draw out of six of these in parallel, continuous. So safely and continuously, you can draw 200 amps out of these, 400 peak. Um, so that's just, uh, you know, the difference between these types of batteries, and I kind of wanted to show that. I know it's a little more monotonous and boring um, and less entertaining, but sometimes, um, this stuff's a little harder to come across. So I'll try to share some more of these educational tips, things that I've learned um, along the way. So try to try to hit the subscribe button if you if you enjoyed this and you want to see some of the other videos and some of the other carts we get running. Um, it helps. It helps me on YouTube. Everywhere else kind of doesn't really help me much. Come back to YouTube and try to uh, follow here and and, and of course, watch here too. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button. Have a nice day.